Okay, one of my favorite snacks since being on the McDougal Whole Food Plant-Based Program is vegetable sushi. Now, if you don't know the difference between sushi and sashimi, sushi is just rice and vegetables, possibly some seaweed. Uh, most of the time, seaweed either on the outside or the inside. But sashimi is traditionally um, a Japanese way of saying that you have raw fish, and that's usually a place on top, sometimes inside the the roll. So I've got some jasmine rice here. We're gonna do a vegetable version, of course, but I've got a little bit of jasmine rice left from dinner, and there's nothing more fun to make than a little bit of sushi, vegetable style, when you have a little bit of extra rice left over at the end of the day. It makes a great snack. I think I've got enough to do two of them. Taking the, uh, the seaweed and laying it out flat and then just taking the back of the rice spoon and smashing the rice. Now, sticky rice, the way that the rice cooker cooks, especially with the jasmine rice, it just makes the most perfect what they call sticky rice. I lived in Japan for three years and loved the, the sushi rolls. I just, I just can't get enough of them. I love the uh, ginger, I love the wasabi, I, will, I love it all. So uh, when we started making rice in the rice cooker and I saw how easy it was to get sticky rice, I thought that was like a, you know, a trick that uh, only the elect <laughs> knew how to make and it's pretty easy. So just following the recipe and uh, it's got a little bit more water I guess in it. This one here was jasmine rice in the rice cooker. I had two and a half cups of rice. I put it in the rice cooker and put in four cups and a half of water. So it was basically just doubling the water. It wasn't a two to one ratio like sometimes you see for rice. It was a two to one for the jasmine. So just kind of look on the back of the direction sheet and go from there. And then once you get the rice all rolled out like that, then what you're going to want to do is put in your thinly sliced vegetables. And I've got some cucumbers here. Love that. Don't want to make it too thick and bulky. Got some carrots. Now this carrot is going to mash down because this carrot is roasted on the, the grill last night. And I've marinated them before. If you remember my video about... Um, the um, carrot hot dogs. So these were good and marinated already. Then we put them on the um, grill last night. Now I'm just going to mash them down a little bit here to get them to hold in there. And then for fun, get my sticky hands here. I'm going to go in here and grab some of this lovely ginger. I'm just going to run it down the middle. Usually in the Grocery stores when they sell the sushi or even at the tempanyaki Japanese restaurants, they will sell this and have the ginger on the edges of the plate. Something you can add like one, one little strand at a time. Well, I love it so much. I just run it right down the middle. Now, I don't have any uh, wasabi right now, but I do have some of my fancy dancy horseradish mustard and it gives it a nice extra kick like I like and then give it a nice little dollop of that and then the trick is in the rolling so I'm going to off my hand here okay now you're going to take this over and when you roll it you roll it across and then kind of drag it back to make it tight. And then just keep rolling until you've got a nice, perfect roll. And then you can even wet the outside edge here if you want just a little bit. Wrap, wrap that on there. I've got a little bit of the ginger sauce and I can wrap that across there and kind of close it in a little bit. Might not be as perfect as I'd like it to be. But then you have to have a good sharp knife and I found that a 
good sharp serrated knife is the best. It goes through it just a little bit easier than, than some. Because you want to leave these still fairly beautiful. Cut it down. And look at that. Is that gorgeous or is that gorgeous? You could put sweet potato in here. You could put the carrot like I've done here. But I see uh, sweet potato, not on the McDougal program. You'd put avocado in here, but if you notice, I've left that out on purpose. So this is just a beautiful way to have a lovely little snack with leftover rice. Enjoy.